Hi everybody, here we are again at the uh, Alice Chalmers 7580. I have my uh, good friend Nolan here and we're going to pump up the tires today. So I'll give you this and get to it. That shouldn't take too long. Doing good, keep it up. I think it moved a bit. What do you think of the 7580? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Yep, yeah, it'll be neat. You gonna drive it when we get it going? Maybe. Maybe. Yep. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, we uh, didn't have a 100% success filling the tires up with air. We, uh, the other three all took air though, so that's, that's good. But this one here leaks out almost as fast as you can put it in, so. We're either, I'm either going to have somebody come out and put a new tube in it or we're just going to put a dual on it and call it good. But yeah, so 3 out of 4 ain't bad. 75%. I believe that's a passing grade. 75-80%. Uh-huh. It's pretty good. Alright, I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm out here at the uh, 7580, as you can see. And uh, I was doing some work on it today. I started jacking this tire up. Doesn't look like I did a whole lot, but there is a gap under there. It's taking forever because my jack keeps wanting to sink into the dirt. So, so yeah. So it's slow going. Like I'm fighting for like every inch. But yeah, there's another view. We just got. I got done draining these tanks, and uh, as you can hear, uh, there's about 30 gallons in there it pulled out. I'm assuming it came out of both, because I'm guessing they're linked together, but I guess I don't know, you know. But I'm going to put in a good 20. I'm shooting for about 20 gallons, I think, so that'd kind of dilute what's left in there. Well, in the fuel pumps, we're going to up there and comes out comes out starts coming out fresh then I'm gonna change them filters out you know make sure we get clean fuel flowing through there and then, then I'm gonna crawl up here and I'm gonna crack and bleed these injectors after I get fresh fuel in there make sure that there there's air not air in the system and get the uh, get the uh, old nasty fuel out of there and then uh, yeah now we're gonna shoot for uh, try to fire this up. I got exhaust man full crack by the way. Yeah. trying to turn this over as you may have heard and the, uh, the starter decided it didn't want to do it anymore so now I'm gonna remove that and then we're gonna take it to our mechanic friends and have him look at it see what he um, can diagnose is wrong with it so stay tuned all right that's the old 7580 today and as you can see all the injectors are wet Means we get started.
might have to dig it down a little. I don't know. Can you go down? Down? Can you go down? Open your window. Down. Down. There you go. Now push in. There. We're about halfway, you know, maybe a little over half. So far, everything's going pretty good. Knock on wood, you know. Hopefully, the luck holds out. Seems to be running good. I felt the U joints and stuff, they didn't feel hot. I just added some grease just to be safe. Tires are holding up. Yeah, seems to be doing pretty good. So uh, yeah, trip went pretty good. I was kind of worried at the beginning. I don't think we got it on, on video, but the uh, I started this up to let run to see if it got hot or anything, and the uh, just died about, I don't know, two minutes in. <laughs> and somehow it got air into the fuel system, and we uh, bled the, uh, the, uh, the lines, or well, I, I was just sitting in there, but the guy I bought it from came out and started bleeding the lines and got the air out, and then we started it, and it's been running ever since, so I was kind of worried about that on the drive home, but no. Then the, uh, the uh, yeah, nothing like, it didn't overheat or anything. The temperature gauge came up to about normal and stayed there. I was kind of worried the thermostat might stick, but uh, yeah, it didn't. I think it runs a little better now than it did when I left. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, 
One thing that surprises me about this is actually uh, how large it is compared to other 7000 series tractors. For instance, the uh, 7050 over here, that is, uh, I thought that was a pretty substantial tractor until now that you got them parked snoot to snoot, it's, uh, it makes it look small, which I thought was, you know, crazy. Sitting in the, where it was sitting, it was sunk in pretty good, so it didn't look that tall, but now that's on, you know, solid surface and not sunk in, it's a lot taller, because that step to get in it got bigger. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. It's pretty neat. Well, uh, <clears throat> now that's here, I was gonna, the one rear tire is still flat, we just threw the dual on to get it, uh, to get it here and uh, I, I don't well there's something wrong with my hazards they don't really flash so I just got to look into that uh, there's a pretty good sized mouse nest in the interior so I clean it out some uh, probably change the oil and uh, yeah I don't know well I don't think a lot of the lights work so I gotta look into that and then uh, throw that U joint in there to get the hydraulics to work again well I think that's about it. Clean it, probably. It's kind of dirty. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to another fine JNL production. And uh, as before we go, there's a few people I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank Colin and Wayne for helping me get this thing going and for uh, for selling it to me. And I'd also like to thank Corey's Tractor Repair for. Uh, helping repair the starter that you guys saw fail spectacularly and I'd like to help thank Arlen for bringing his sweet impact gun and helping zip those lug bolts in on that duel so he could bring it home and uh, hope you guys stay tuned because we got some some sweet things in store for you.